Hi there Pisces, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end, okay? Uh, Pisces, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Pisces, please? The past energy for Pisces. 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 Okay, one more. Pisces. So the past energy for Pisces, please. Pisces. The world in reverse. The past energy for Pisces. That king of wands in reverse. What's going on? The empress with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Interesting. And the present energy. The fool. The eight of cups. Interesting. The present energy for Pisces, please. King of Cups in reverse. And um, the Eight of Wands for the future energy. The Two of Wands. Interesting. And Judgment. It's like someone having to make an important choice on with, which path to choose. The overall, the chariot and just as I said it, this is so interesting. So the chariot is someone that makes a choice and moves forward, forward with determination. And I feel like this is um, an important factor of this reading. I don't see an end to a cycle in the past though. And I feel like someone was thrown off with the king of wands in reverse. But you're showing up as the empress, someone that's very loving, very nurturing and very beautiful. And you could have been confused regarding a specific person. Okay, like there could have been uncertainty. Now I see a potential for a brand new beginning. Okay, so with the Fool and the Eight of Cups, I feel like there is someone this, that is dissatisfied with with the with the outcome here. And interesting enough, it's like the King of Cups in reverse. I feel like there is someone that's wanting to to communicate. So this could be talking about like a separation or there could have been a distance between you and this person, but I see the potential for a brand new beginning. However, I feel like there is someone that's stuck at a crossroads having to make this choice. And I feel like it's a profound choice with judgment. Maybe someone having to make this choice quickly. So either it's in regards to communication or like moving forward here. So let me clarify, okay? Because I feel like there is someone that's dissatisfied with the Eight of Cups. And that could be you even. So clarifying the Chariot. The Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer, any of the fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, the King of Wands is Fire, Libra, Aquarius, again, another water sign, the Chariot, clarifying the Chariot for Pisces, okay. Clarifying. And there you go, the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like um, this person's... This person's...
person has to make a choice, okay? The Seven of Cups in reverse, and I feel like they're aware of that, that they have to make a choice here. So it's not like they're, they're lacking clarity. I feel like in regards to this situation, though, they could be losing hope. Um, there is dissatisfaction here with the Eight of Cups. The Page of Wands talks about, um, like, embarking on a brand new beginning. This could even be you, okay? So just take it as is. Because I feel like things haven't been balanced out where there's an equal give and take in energy. So let me clarify the world in reverse. There we go, the Empress in reverse. Again, there's uncertainty, maybe even insecurities. Since I see the King of Wands in reverse with the Empress in reverse. The Nine of Wands and... The King of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like um, there is instability. And there could be confusion regarding this connection. And with the Nine of Wands, um, there could have been resistance or walls or barriers that were built up here. And because of these barriers, it could even be causing insecurities within you, within this person. So let me clarify the King of Wands in reverse. So I feel like this person didn't really express themselves. There could have been... Even though there was passion with the Knight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. So this person could have been single. They could have been seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles. Someone that's very self-focused, focused on your independence, taking great care of yourself. I feel like there was a desire to work things out with the Three of Cups, but they didn't express themselves here with the King of Wands or they didn't take the initiative. Because there could have been uncertainty or insecurities. So let me clarify the Empress with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There you go, the Ten of Pentacles. So you could have been confused about the stability of this connection. The Six of Cups in reverse with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you just didn't want to be left out in the cold or you were just trying to... Because I see you standing in your power here as the Empress. But I do see a disconnect with the Six of Cups in reverse. So this could have been you focusing on your stability as this is playing out with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So let me clarify the Fool for the present energy, the Five of Cups in reverse. So this could very well be you embarking on a brand new beginning. Um, The Four of Wands. What's going on here? This is interesting. Let me get another card though. Yeah, so Justice in Reverse. So I feel like, um, so you could have been dealing with a special connection. It could have been a marriage, doesn't necessarily have to be. But um, I feel like with this situation, things weren't made right or balanced out. Someone could have been thrown off as well. And now there's dissatisfaction with the Eight of Cups. Let me clarify the Eight of Cups. No way, it's a chariot again. Is this in the reverse? No, it's in the upright. The chariot. The Two of Pentacles. There's someone that's swinging their options, trying to figure out what to do. Really dissatisfied with the outcome. The Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles with the Chariot and the... Yeah, apparently it seems like someone has to make this choice and they're trying to figure out what to do. Because they're dissatisfied with the outcome. Um, let me clarify the King of Cups in reverse. The Two of Wands twice. So this could be someone that's stuck at a crossroads. It just seems like... There you go. The King of Swords in reverse. Look at all the King showing up in reverse. This person's not really communicating how they feel, okay? Although they do have clarity. And there you go. Just as I said, the King of Cups showed up in the upright. So I feel like this person has to decide whether they want to express how they feel or not. It just seems like someone's stuck and confused with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. But they are dissatisfied here with the Eight of Cups. 
So let me clarify with the eight of let me clarify the eight of wands. The hangman. Okay, so I feel like this person's reflecting on this connection. They're doing wait, let me get two other. So I don't see an end to a cycle here with the world card in reverse. Twice. Interesting. I don't see this person moving on. I feel like they're looking at things from various perspectives, trying to gain some sort of enlightenment. I feel like they are stuck at a crossroads on what to do. I feel like they do have to make a profound choice though. So clarifying the two of wands, strength, judgment twice. This is, it could very well be you having to make a profound choice as well because you're showing up as a queen of wands. So you're very charming, attractive, charismatic, confident. So this could even be you not really taking any action, trying to look at things from various perspectives. But I feel like this person, I don't see an ending. So let me clarify judgment. This is a really interesting reading. Look at that, I see a match. It's like the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So there is love here, okay? Um, interesting, I feel like you are choosing to keep your heart space open. The hair font. And the Five of Wands. So I feel like if this is someone that's having to make a choice, there could be internal conflict here. I feel like this person could even be suppressing their desires or someone is. Maybe someone is frustrated as well with the outcome. The Nine of Cups in reverse. So there is someone that's dissatisfied. So I feel like I'm picking up on your energy and someone else. So let me get further insight. I feel like this person has clarity that they have to make a choice. Someone could be stuck because they're internally conflicted. And it could very well be in regards to commitment, stability. The Eight of Wands, um, wow, there's a lot of repetition. So the Eight of Wands talks about communication, a swift energy exchange, strength. So you could share a strong bond with someone. This could be talking about like a fated encounter. This could be you wanting there to be loyalty. There's your King of Wands. The Ace of Cups, so I do see a potential for a brand new beginning in love, okay? The Six of Pentacles talks about balance. The Emperor, so I do see the Emperor and the Empress. So there is a match, but someone is disappointed with the Four of Cups, like really disappointed at the outcome. So let me get messages from the Oracle deck for Pisces, please. Pisces. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. I feel like there's someone that has clarity that they have to make an important choice. Have faith. Trust your faith in the situation. Okay. I'm going to get one more for Pisces, please. Pisces.
Pisces. And there we go. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So I do see a match between the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Maybe you could be frustrated with the situation. Um, messages from the Romance Angel deck for Pisces, please. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So I feel like you could be keeping um, your heart space open, but it's like, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So that could be a, an important message for some of you, but like heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. One more. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time. So it seems like there is a potential for stability, but there, I feel like there is someone that's struggling with communication. And they're realizing that they have to make an important choice, a very profound one. Like on what, what path to choose. And this could also be you having to make an important choice as well, okay? So that's my reading for you, uh, Pisces, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.